What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip and today it's the Friday the 25th of May and as we always do we've got a lot to get through today including confirmed deals and potential rumours so just before we get started if you enjoy the video and enjoy transfers show support by leaving a like rating and be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated if you're new to my channel press the subscribe button for more and press the notification tab next to it to receive an alert every single time I upload a video if you missed yesterday's video, it will be down below in the description box. The current schedule, 8 a.m. is transfers every single day. If it's a second upload, that'd be 9 p.m. And by the way, it should be one tonight. And in the comment section below, what console do you play FIFA on? Is it Xbox, PlayStation, or maybe even PC? Right, let's jump on to confirmed deals. And the first two players are going to be West Ham players, or four West Ham players, I should say now, because yesterday the club officially released them. And those two players are James Collins and also Patrice Evra, both of which will be looking for new clubs for the upcoming season. Then we've got a Brazilian called Rafinha going to Sporting from a Vitória Gomeras, and the fee is around 6.5 million euros. And the final player on this page is going to be a Dutch silver player called Brenet. If I say his name wrong, I do apologize about that. But yes, he joined Bundesliga side Hoffenheim from PSV for 5 million euros. I'm not sure if he'll get an upgrade or not, but if he goes to a gold, he could be a very cheap option at the start of FIFA 19 for Bundesliga teams. And the very first one is a German striker called Valschmidt. He joined Freiburg yesterday from Hamburg, who did get relegated for 5 million euros. And then we've got three pretty big ones. The first player is going to be Condogbia, the French one going to Valencia now on a permanent basis from Inter, and the fee is 25 million euros. He signed a deal until 2022, and that's after a very successful loan spell at the club last season. And I was very surprised to see him not get a team of season card because I thought he was very good last season again, and he was nominated for the community tots but wasn't voted in, but I thought he might have made it into La Liga tots. And another transfer in Spain yesterday is going to be Rodri going to Atletico Madrid from Villarreal. It's a 20 million euro fee as a five year contract. And on paper, it looks like a very good transfer for Atletico because he's only 21 years old, a lot of potential about him. Last season for Villarreal had a great season and he used to play for Atletico as a youth player up until 2013. And now we've got a legend of football. He's won pretty much everything you can win on an international level and club level. And in the end, there was a potential transfer in my video yesterday. But they confirmed it about probably one hour after the video went live. And it was revealed as a Vissel code play yesterday in Japan. It's a two-year deal for him. And they also have Podolski. And of course, that is a free transfer. And the final confirm on today is going to be Pochettino of Tottenham signing a new contract as manager until 2023. There were some reports a couple of weeks ago linking him to Real Madrid and Chelsea, but again, he signed a deal now and he'll be Tottenham manager for a few more years. And now moving on to potential deals. The very first one is a player linked to Tottenham, according to ESPN. Tottenham have joined the race to sign West Brom's Egyptian centre back, Ahmed Hergazi. He joined West Brom last summer, and despite getting relegated in, a, in most of the match, at least, he's a good player and uh, obviously has a, kind of warranted some interest now from the likes of Tottenham. It doesn't mention any kind of fee, but like I said with Rondon yesterday, a lot of the West Brom, Stoke and also Swansea City players, they probably have good relegation clauses. Like I'm pretty certain a club will definitely buy Shaqiri. Um, he can be a very inconsistent player, but on his day, he can also be unplayable from Stoke. And imagine again, we'll have a relegation clause. And next up, according to Le Keep, Cameroonian international forward Toko Akambi is set to join La Liga side Villarreal. And that's after both clubs managed to agree on a fee of just under 20 million euros to sign the player. He was also linked to Newcastle United, but it does seem that Villarreal have won the race to sign him, despite not making the biggest bid for him, but again, the club, they've listened to the player, and he wants to go to Spain. And now we've got another update regarding Wayne Rooney and a potential move to the MLS. So according to Sky Sports today, Wayne Rooney is in Washington for talks and a medical ahead of a proposed move to the MLS side DC United. And it's looking like he will be making the move away from the Premier League officially to go to America. And I'll be interested to see how it works out, but potentially it could mean we get a very good MLS All-Stars version of Rooney at the end of July. And the final player on this page is a very short one according to the Express. Key to Chelsea appointing Sarri from Napoli would be the transfer of 31-year-old defender David Luiz to the Italian club. And on Wednesday night, Napoli did part ways with Sarri and brought in Ancelotti as a replacement. And Sarri is now looking for a new club. But there were suggestions saying potentially could go to Zenit and they'll pay him a lot of money. But it looks like he's holding out for Chelsea and could be announced, I imagine, quite soon. I'm not quite sure how the David Luiz thing would tie in because, again, if Sarri's not the manager anymore, how can he be part of like a transfer? I'm not too sure. But either way, we'll have to wait and see. And now we've got one for Newcastle fans. This is according to Kelsey Mercato, and uh, they're saying that Newcastle have made an inquiry to Juventus over midfielder Stefano Storaro. Spanish media are linking Marino, the midfielder of Newcastle, away from the club to, uh, I think it's Real Betis and also Bilbao. But Storaro could be a good replacement, but I imagine Newcastle fans, they want Marino to stay. 
And now we're going to a player which has so, so many clubs throughout his career, but along the way has also been very, very successful, being Samuel Eto, a Cameroonian striker. According to Tuto Sport today, representatives from Lazio had a four hour meeting with Samuel Eto's agent this week to discuss the possibility to sign a 37 year old striker this summer. And the striker is close to leaving Turkish Iconia Sport and may be tempted back to Italy. And now we've got three rumours surrounding Arsenal. The very first ones according to Kicker in Germany. Bayer Leverkusen have confirmed goalkeeper Bern Leno will leave the club this summer. But the Arsenal target's destination has yet to be confirmed and the player's agent has stated he's fully focused on the World Cup and will make a decision later on this summer. And Leverkusen did confirm the free transfer of goalkeeper Rodetsky from Frankfurt yesterday and from that a lot of rumours have started. And next to him, according to Daily Mirror, Arsenal are ready to sweep for Paris Saint-Germain midfielder Rabiot following his World Cup 2018 snub. I do find it kind of crazy that Rabiot did not get into the World Cup squad for France this summer and uh, he hasn't taken it well whatsoever on top of it because I think I read yesterday he sent like a letter to the, uh, the French equivalent of the FA and he's basically said he won't be considered as a backup. Like, don't get me wrong, the French World Cup squad, in my opinion, is one of the best around. Their 23-man squad is strong in every single position, but I still think Rabiot should have been in that. He's not the only good player left behind there because they've got Laporte from Man City, he's not going, Anthony Martial from United, and Lacazette from Arsenal. All of which I'm pretty certain would walk into that England national team right now, um, but still, France's quality is uh, definitely clear to see, and Rabiot, he's not happy about it. Next up, we go on to another centre mid lane to Arsenal, this time according to Sky Sports News. Arsenal are interested in signing Roma midfielder Lorenzo Pellegrini, according to Sky in Italy. And Roma only re signed from Sassuolo a year ago in July um, for around £9 million. So I'm not sure if they want to sell him straight away, but still, it can make a bit of profit in a very short amount of time. Another Italian link for a move to the Premier League today, according to the Daily Mirror, is a go to Donnarumma. So Liverpool are becoming Gianluigi's best option for a transfer, and the Champions League finalists are willing to pay £40 million for the AC Milan stopper. A year ago, it looked like he was definitely going to leave AC Milan, but he ended up staying, but things turned really, really sour between him, his agent, and AC Milan as a club and their fans. Their fans turned against him and definitely showed up throughout matches. Um, at one point, they like chucking money and stuff at him. And now the rumours are starting up a year later with him missing out on Champions League football. And at Liverpool, I would take him. He's a great prospect, still very, very young and uh, got a lot of experience for his age. But his agent, Mina Raiola, that's the thing that puts me off. And now we move on to one according to Damasio. Borussia Dortmund and Arsenal were interested in signing Mainz defender Abdou Diallo this summer. But the Germans started currently leading the race to sign him. That's literally all the article in the headline says for now. No fees we mentioned at this point in time, but it's another player linked to Arsenal. And so far, under Unai Emery, the rumours are flowing. And then we've got a Chelsea legend being John Terry. And this one is according to the Daily Telegraph. They're saying John Terry is poised to sign a new 12 month deal at Aston Villa if they're promoted this weekend. The terms of which could include a missing games against Chelsea because he doesn't want to play against them. And normally that type of thing is included in loan deals, but it would make sense given the fact he played at Chelsea for so, so long and he kind of wants to show some respect against them. And I remember when Lampard played against Chelsea for City, in fact, and he scored a goal. And now moving on, we've got three more players into Manchester United and one of them of which being Griezmann. He was into United last summer as well. But first up, according to Demarzio again, Manchester United looking into two left side transfer targets this summer, both being Marco Anatovic from West Ham and Mario Mandzukic from Juventus. Now, given the fact they've already got players like Alexis Sanchez, Marcus Rashford, and also Martial that can't play on the left hand side, do they really too many more? I'm not too certain. But I suppose Arnautovic and Mandzukic can play as a striker on top of it, so there's a lot of versatility there. And I've got some breaking news according to Damaso again. He said that Manchester United have reached a 50 million euro agreement with Shakhtar for the transfer of Fred. It's been a strong rumour to United for a few months now, and again, it was an issue Manchester City. But a couple of days ago, apparently PSG were interested and it could have turned his head, and United might have dropped interest. But again, according to Damasio, it doesn't seem to be the case. He could well be United's first transfer this summer, and I imagine he wants to get it done before the World Cup starts in a few weeks' time. And Manchester Even News are saying the same thing, so the deal is close now with Shakhtar, and they hope to complete a deal next week. And now to split the Manchester United rooms up a little bit, we've got Antoine Griezmann. So according to the Daily Mail, Atletico Madrid have offered Antoine Griezmann £8.75 million more in wages and Barca to keep the France international out of the club. The report the other day was suggesting that Atletico could offer him up to €18 million Euros a year, which is obviously a lot of money and a massive pay increase of what he's currently on. But Barca, according to this report anyway, is €10 million Euros they're offering. Either way, if he stays or goes to Barca, he's still a wanted man and uh, could be a very expensive transfer this summer. And now we've got to another one for United, according to Build in Germany. Despite being under contract until 2019, Arturo Vidal is on Manchester United's radar and may opt to leave Bayern Munich this summer. 
It does seem United are in for a central midfielder, especially Michael Carrick retiring. And Sky Italia even goes as far as saying United right now, they're inquiring about Milinkovic Savic, who cost 100 million euros. And the final one today, according to reports in Germany, especially from Kicker, Manchester United have joined the race with Bayern Munich striker Robert Lewandowski, but so too have Chelsea and Paris Saint Germain. And French outlets were saying he's been offered to all three clubs, and it would probably cost around 100 million pounds or so. And the other day, Chelsea were favourites out of all three. And in fact, the rumours from France were saying Paris Saint Germain, Chelsea, and uh, I think it's Real Madrid instead of United. But still, either way, I do imagine after the World Cup, we could be seeing a massive transfer for Lewandowski, or at least a lot of interest. But that, guys, is going to be it for this video. So, as always, if you enjoyed it and enjoyed transfers, show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press the subscribe button for more and press the notifications tab next to it to receive an alert every single time I upload a video. If you missed yesterday's video, down below in the description box, every day at 8am is a transfer video, and a second one for is one, that'd be 9pm. And in the comment section below, what console do you play FIFA on? Is it Xbox, PlayStation, PC, or something else? Let me know your answers down below. Say so thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.